boop, boop. Mm, mm. Yeah, dab. Dab up. Dab up. You guys are welcome back to my channel. My name is Adi Doing Oni, and welcome to Finding Doing. However, you found me, I'm glad you did. Because today, you're gonna know something you probably didn't know or you probably forgot. But I'm here to bring it to your reminder. It's your daily podcast. Drum rolls. But yeah, thank you so much for um, deciding to join me on this journey. And thank you for deciding to watch this video. If this is your first time here, I'm really, really glad you decided to watch this video. However you found it, it means a lot to me. And if you want to be OGs, give it up for the OGs. So I'm happy you always come back and you guys always give me like amazing reviews. Some of you even go to the extent of personally recommending my videos to your friends. I'm going to put like, um, there's, a, there's a picture I'm going to put here of one of the comments I got on one of my videos. I, I woke up from like a nap this afternoon. I was like, ah, oh, should I shoot a video today? I wanted to shoot a video today. I was like, should I shoot a video today? And I saw that comment and I was like, I need to shoot a video today. So thank you so much, everyone, for sharing my videos and for liking, comments, subscribe. This video should not be one of those ones that fail, you know. We've had some that fail, which is fine because, you know, you guys don't like everything. But um, let me know how you feel in the comment section about this video. Today, we're going to be talking about something very, very important. And it's going to be part of my work, um, work life series. I'm going to start a, start a playlist. A work life series playlist, the whole getting a job, um, social capital. If you haven't seen those videos, I'm going to link them somewhere um, up here so you guys can check them out. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about imposter syndrome. Hey, imposter, imposter syndrome. Hey, no imposter, God. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is when you feel like like you've been a fraud or like you feel like you, you're, you're not qualified for the job that you have currently. And you feel like everyone is going to find out, and when they find out, they're going to sack you. Sakulu wiku of wiku, sakulu wiku. Ike be one, ja, ja one, ja two, ja three. So yeah, you feel like oh, this people are going to find out that I'm not really good at this job, and they're going to fire me. So, but if if you if you feel like that, I feel like almost everyone feels like that. If you feel like that, this video is for you. Please share it to your friends, your family. People that are not really happy at work because they feel like oh they're not competent enough. Please share this video, and I'm going to see you in the video. All right, welcome back. If you're still here, it means like you really want to know what's going on in this video. And we're not before we even move forward. We're not going to go. We're not going to go on like you guys didn't just see like this art that I got. And so yeah, my office space is coming alive together. I'm going to put a picture here. I went thrift shopping yesterday for the first time in my life. Yeah, I went Bernal Selecting, which is good. And I got this book. This book is a great book. Restart by Gordon Corman. Amazing book. So I'm going to ask you a question to start this video. If you lost all of your memory, like a memory of who you were and the people around you and the expectations they had of you, if you lost all that memory, but I mean, you can't remember your name, you can't remember how you look like, you can't remember anything and you came back from that partial amnesia, like what will you do? Who will you reinvent yourself to be? I have that question for you. If you don't know the answer, then I think, um, if you're not comfortable with the quality of life they are living, like when you say, what is, the, what is going to be the quality of my life? If you're, not conf if you're not happy with the quality of the life that you're living, then today you can actually reinvent yourself. And this is my challenge to you. Go ahead, reinvent yourself and be happy. Yeah, without doing too much, let's get into this video. So, um, in preparation for this video, I actually read, I had, I, I knew what I wanted to talk about, but you know, it's always good, like, you can't have too much information, you can't have too much data, you can't, like, so I actually did a little bit of research, and in one of the um, blog posts that I read, it says, like, um, from 9% to 82% of people, of professionals deal with imposter syndrome, which um, is very, very amazing. I wasn't surprised because I feel like everyone actually deals with it because I talk a lot to most of my friends like that work and I know like most people feel this way so I wasn't surprised but before we like, what is imposter, imposter syndrome? What is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome as one of the um, articles put it is it refers to an internal experience of believing that you are not as competent 
as others perceive you to be. While this definition is usually narrowly applied to intelligence and achievement, it has links to perfectionism and social context. So many people feel like, oh, I'm not as competent as these people think I am. And these people are going to find out and then they're going to fire me. So that's like the fear that imposter, syn imposter syndrome brings upon you. Like it keeps chasing you, it keeps pushing you, it puts you into this loop where you feel like, oh my God, I'm not, no matter how high you fly, no matter how much achievement that you finally achieve, no matter what you finally get to, you feel like you're not competent enough. So you're like running a rat race with yourself. And the crazy thing about imposter syndrome is that you're, you're competing with, a, you're competing with um, a version of yourself that doesn't even exist yet. I might not even exist in this lifetime. You feel like, well, you should be able to grasp like every, like everything really fast, every concept really fast. You should excel like on the first day of the job, even though you, you know nothing about rocket science or you just threw into NASA and you're like, oh my God, yeah, the moon has moved trajectory and you're trying to do all these things on the first day. You don't want to ease into it because you feel like, oh, you've always been like a high flyer. So if, even people that, that are very, very smart, they deal with imposter syndrome. Talk more of, <laughs> we we know too, you understand? People that are not even really, like that never really got any academic um, award in their lifetime. I never got an academic award. I was never first in my class, like most of your parents were, you understand? But even I also deal with um, imposter syndrome. So it, it cuts across like the whole fabric of um, professionals that we have. So if you're dealing with imposter syndrome, I'll just tell you you're not alone. From 9% to 82% of people, of professionals deal with this. So keep your mind at ease, you know, keep your mind at ease. So. One thing that you should know about imposter syndrome is it's actually a bully. Imposter syndrome, like every day you get to work, even on the weekends, if you're not careful, you're going to be trying to catch up with work during the weekend where you should be resting and trying to get new energy for the next week. You're going to be trying to work hard just to prove to a version of yourself that doesn't exist that you're capable at this job. Mind you, there's a place for going above and beyond to make sure that you're performing well at work because they're not going to be paying you because like they like you. If you've seen Fences, if you've seen Fences, um, Denzel Washington, if you haven't seen it, you should go and see it. He was talking to his son one time. He was like, my, man, my boss doesn't pay me come pay day because he likes me. He pays me because he owes me because I put in like the effort. So at work, you have to be putting in your effort. You have to be pulling your weight in gold, but also don't don't feel like oh my god i have to be perfect like on the first day of the job on the first week of the job there's some things you even know six years into the job five years into the job my manager once told me was like there's some things i can't do i know people that can do it so i go and hire them but because you're not a manager yet you feel like oh my god i have to do all of this stuff no you don't have to that's i'm just here to tell you like you don't have to so um funny funny example when you when you're interviewing for jobs and then you get rejected, you'll be like, I don't know what I did. That, that interview was so perfect. Like, I was going to get this job. Uh -uh, how can this people not pick me? You understand? When you get the job, you'll be like, hey, how did I get this job? God, this I don't even know anything about this job. I'm sure these people don't even understand that I don't know anything. You feel like, ah, you've outsmarted them. If you weigh those two experiences and you weigh like where you were, you be like, oh my god, I feel like I'm so smart. Why didn't this people pick me? When if my now finally pick you, you be like, ah, how did I get this one? So that is just like you dealing with like yourself. So you're you 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 competing with the version of yourself that doesn't exist. So I wanted to just ease in and see like how to go about it. So um, keeping a job, like I always tell people, it might be a harder task than actually getting the job. It might be a harder mental task than getting the job. When you get a job, you apply, you do all these interviews, you finally get the job. Now you have the job. How can you make sure you keep the job and you don't just stay stagnant? You keep like progressing, keep moving. You have to keep learning. And that's where imposter syndrome comes in. Like it comes to stress you, it comes to disturb you. So I'm just going to, I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going to give you two um, tips that I have um, experienced. I've talked with people and I know like these two tips work. I'm going to give you those two tips. One of them is Take accountability for how you're feeling. Like process your feeling and talk to people. Talk to people. Like I always say, community, you always have to fall back on community. Talk to your manager, talk to your friends, talk to some of your, uh, your trusted colleagues at work. Tell them how you're feeling. Like 
this is how I'm feeling about this, and I don't feel like I'm like I'm good enough for this. Like I don't feel like this is going the way I thought it was going to go. And then they're going to tell you like, oh, are you serious? Thank God I'm not the only one because I'm also in this boat. I'm also feeling this way. I've heard of people who their manager are like, Man, honestly, me too. I'm just like not winging it, but I don't. I've never been a manager before. Like it, imagine when they give you a promotion and then you become a manager and you've never been a manager before. How are you going to feel? You, you're still going to have the feeling like you had as an entry level staff because now you. I mean, you've been working in the industry for years, but you've never managed people like on that level. So at some point, imposter syndrome is always going to creep in. You understand? So I feel like talking to people makes you understand like you're not alone and you're not actually a fraud. Even though you're a fraud, everybody in the organization, we are all fraud. We are all fraud. You understand? So it's going to give you a sense of ease and calm when you know that everybody's in the same boat. Like everybody's heading in the same direction, everybody doesn't really like have it hundred percent figured out. That really helps you. Like, that would be really that would be something great for you to actually know. The second um quick tip is execute, execute, execute continuously, back to back to back. Someone say, a wise man once said, a wise woman. I don't know. I watched the movie. It says um courage is fear that has said his prayers. One of the reasons why um. People we all deal with imposter syndrome is because we are afraid of failing. There, there are different types of um, um, imposter syndromes or imposters in their head. There are five different types. I don't want to go into them. There's perfectionist, there's a superhero, and all that and all that. But most people have this perfectionism background. Like oh, your parents will like, okay, you have to do well in school, you have to do well, you also join sports, you also have to be a good Christian in your relationship to your friends, why are you not a good friend, your relationship with your spouse, why are you not a good spouse? So you are trying to make sure you are perfect, expending your energy on all these aspects. If you fail in one aspect, you feel like, oh, you failed in all the aspects. You understand? So one of the reasons why people don't execute is because they are afraid they're not going to get it right the first time. They are afraid they are going to fail the first time, which is fine. It's totally fine to fail forward. Like, you just keep failing and you keep getting forward, you keep failing forward. That's what someone says, success is actually failing forward. De determine that, okay, the first time I do this thing, it won't be good. My very first YouTube video, the song, the background song was higher than my voice. People were like, why are we not hearing your voice? Like, were you even talking at all? The video, shout out to Shalom. Shalom shot that video for me. It was a nice video, but like my editing went so terribly. I wanted it to be perfect, but I discovered like, you'll never be perfect. Just keep executing back to back to back. you see like the people that are most successful are the people that have done this thing consistently. Look at Whiskey's throwback, look at Davido's throwback, look at um, movies that were done before, like look at producers when they did their first movies. Those movies, compare it to now, it's a very anachronistic way of looking at things, but I like to do it because like it shows you that you've actually grown. When I look at my first video and look at this video, I'm like, oh, I'm, I've grown. My first video, I wasn't making so much eye contact. But now I'm making so much eye contact because now I'm more confident. But you will never be confident if you don't execute. So the secret to success is in doing. I don't mean to sound like, an, like a motivational speaker. Oh, Mr. Speaker. I don't mean to sound like a motivational speaker, but that's just the truth. Like you need to execute. You need to execute. And so um, I says here, like, even when, um, execute continuously, even when you fail and execute in a group because you can't do it all alone. So you have to execute and you have to make sure you have people around you executing a group like because you can't actually do it alone even when you're afraid so say your prayers and go and execute if you feel good you're going to learn from those experiences and most likely you won't have that failure again you have another failure but that's progress you understand so yeah with those two tips if you execute continuously you execute with a group you hold like you speak to people that hold you accountable like you tell them this i'm feeling and you hear them also then you're confident enough to go out and do. There are many other tips. Um, I recommend you to go to other blogs and go to like podcasts and listen. But for this video, that's going to be like my own two cents, literally two tips that you guys can um, put in your life and make you more confident and aware. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please share, like, subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Tell me how you feel in the comment section. If this video helped you, please, I want to know so that um, I can like be motivated to do more videos like this also tell me the kind of videos that you like to see from me like going forward and i think that brings us to the end of this video thank you very much and see you next time um 
Today's song, you guys thought I was going to forget. When you won't want me, when you won't want me, I'm in San Francisco time. When you won't want me, when you won't want me, I just flew in from Miami, Peru, pa, Peru, Peru, pa. That's Fireboy, Peru by Fireboy. Go and check that song out. It's a banger. 